Are cybersecurity boot camps worth it? Can you find a job after you graduate from a boot camp? And what does a typical starting salary look like in an entry level role? In today's video, we're going to be going over the Caltech cybersecurity boot camp. So, this is a question that I get oftentimes from you guys in the comments about whether or not boot camp programs are worth it and which ones should you enroll in, whether it's part time, full time, in person, if it's for a general cybersecurity boot camp, as well as critiquing the types of skills that are covered in the boot camp, as well as what tools you'll be using. Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing careers with good job security, stability, and growth, as well as almost a zero percent unemployment rate. You've heard me say this over and over again, but there is a huge lack of cybersecurity professionals and, and companies are really trying to hire for skilled cybersecurity talent. So this is the best time to get into cybersecurity if you're someone who is even remotely interested. I really think that this is an awesome career to go into with a very promising career trajectory. And that is another reason why cybersecurity boot camps are so popular because of the fact that you're able to touch so many different areas and subjects in cybersecurity in a six month boot camp rather than going to a two or four year college degree that'll cost you a lot more time and money in terms of tuition. And the outcome of a cybersecurity boot camp can be equivalent to a college degree, especially nowadays when more and more companies are focusing specifically on hiring from cybersecurity boot camps. I think a few of the main concerns when it comes to starting as a beginner in cybersecurity are specifically on overcoming that learning curve, especially if you're coming in with zero IT or zero tech experience, as well as some fears and uncertainty around finding a job after you graduate from the boot camp. So if one of your main concerns is overcoming that hurdle of being a complete beginner, I think starting with a cybersecurity boot camp is one of the best routes to go. There's a relatively low upstart time and the fact that there's a lot more flexibility compared to when you are a full time student going into a degree program when you're also focusing on courses that may not be as relevant to your major just for gen eds or elective requirements that may be necessary for you to graduate with a degree compared to a cybersecurity bootcamp which takes you directly into the meat of the material that you have to learn or a specific set of skills in cybersecurity for let's say a security analyst role or a junior pen testing role a cybersecurity bootcamp is a lot more streamlined to help get you there faster compared to a degree program which is usually extended out and you also may not have as much hands-on learning available to you compared to a cybersecurity bootcamp camp is really focused intensely on hands-on labs and sandbox environments, especially with the fact that they typically are going to teach you real world skills or using tools that companies are using so that you're able to get job ready faster and more efficiently. Bootcamps are a great way to learn fast, upskill, and grow in your career to help you get your foot in the door for that first job in cybersecurity much faster than a typical degree program. So specifically for the Caltech Cybersecurity Bootcamp, this is the one that we're going to be reviewing in today's video. This bootcamp was created by the California Institute of Technology in partnership with Simply Learn to be able to help you master your skills in cybersecurity in about six months. And another thing to note is the fact that this cybersecurity bootcamp is for beginners, so you don't need any prior experience in IT or cybersecurity, as well as the fact that you also don't need a two-year or four-year degree Degree, as with other cybersecurity bootcamp programs that you may have seen, but they're still going to be able to teach you the fundamental skills that you may need to go into an entry level cybersecurity role. So, first thing I want to call out here specifically is the fact that this bootcamp is hosted by Caltech, which is a top school for tech. The goal of this bootcamp is really to master your cybersecurity skills in six months. You'll be learning skills in offensive and defensive security, network security, digital forensic. This is one of the important things to note. This is a very broad bootcamp. And all of these skills that are going to be covered in this bootcamp are great for going into an entry level cybersecurity analyst or SOC analyst role. So, specifically for the skill section, I think this is something that's really relevant to anyone who is in cybersecurity, to be honest. Starting off first with asset and inventory management, this is something that is going to be really important the larger your organization gets. For example, the number of endpoints that your company has, how many servers you have, what's running on the servers, what version numbers are they, is there any end of life software, how do you know what needs to be patched. All these things go back into asset and inventory management, and I think that's really important things to cover, especially in an entry level cybersecurity bootcamp, is something that you don't really think about, but is really important for companies big or small. For business continuity, this focuses on what happens when something goes wrong. How do you ensure that business continues as usual, even during a disaster, even during downtime? And I really think that every company should have some kind of BCDR policy or procedure. And in terms of data privacy, management, and security, data is probably the most important asset for most companies nowadays. This includes user data, sensitive data, financial data, health data, depending on what company and what sector that you're working in, any non-public data is going to be important to keep private and the management of that data is also going to be is also going to be one of the most important things that you have to learn and this would also go back to access management the encryption of data at rest and data in transit as well as of course logging and reviews for anyone who is able to access any confidential or non-public data data forensics is definitely a more niche area of cybersecurity personally this is one of the first areas in cybersecurity that i learned about and it's also a very technical area to get into and this is also a very important skill to have when you're going through incident response and ongoing security incidents incident management management, like I mentioned earlier, personally, I think incident response is one of the most important skill sets to learn as a beginner in cybersecurity, especially if you're going into the blue team side or an SOC or a defensive security team, you may very well be leading a security incident or a security breach. 
and knowing what procedures to follow is going to be crucial to make sure that incidents are contained and remediated as soon as possible. Anything related to threat analysis, threat intelligence, vulnerability management, these are more so going to be on the defensive side of things, which, which is going to be important regardless of what role that you decide to go into in cybersecurity, because no matter what team you're in, part of your job as a cybersecurity professional is going to be have knowledge and insight into, into the threats and vulnerabilities that may potentially impact the, the applications or the tools that you're using in your day-to-day -day job. So personally, I think this is a great list of well-rounded skills with offensive and defensive security skill sets and topics. I do think one thing that could be added to this list is potentially something around auditing, compliance, and governance. I know risk management is loosely tied into those areas. When it comes to most companies nowadays, there's simply going to be some kind of compliance or auditing or, or auditory requirement that a company that companies have to follow in whatever sector that you're going into, finance, healthcare, government, etc. There's going to be regulations that you have to follow. That would definitely be a good section to add in here, along with risk management that is already on this list. The program duration is for about six months. It is an online bootcamp and the cost of tuition for this bootcamp program is about 881 a month for 12 months. And specifically noting the program highlights, this bootcamp is hosted by Caltech, which is one of the best schools for tech careers specifically. Their students have earned international recognition and won 38 Nobel prizes. You'll be getting industry specific training from global cybersecurity experts with a coverage of various different cybersecurity concepts that we've covered above. This will also specifically be a cohort-based bootcamp, which I think is one of the best ways to learn. It's with six months of applied learning in sandbox labs and working on different projects using your newfound skills as you learn throughout the bootcamp. Personally, I think this is really important because along with the material that you're actually learning in the bootcamp that you're going into, what's even more important are the hands-on projects that you're actually getting to work on, whether it's various different labs or hacking challenges. There's a lot of different things that are a lot easier to learn by hands-on doing compared to learning from a textbook or learning from a slide deck. So that's something I think is really awesome about this bootcamp program specifically and the fact that you're also able to learn from industry experts that actually have experience using those tools in real world scenarios so that they're also able to teach you the ins and outs of the tool itself. So as I mentioned, this program is designed to help you develop skills in defensive and offensive security, which I personally think is important. Whether you're interested more in the red team or the blue team, learning skills from both sides is important because if you're going into a defensive security role, it really benefits you in your career to be able to know what the offensive security teams also work on, specifically the skills they're using, the tools they're using, which in turn also helps you become better at your job and to be eligible for this program you need to be at least 18 years old and have a high school diploma or equivalent you don't need any prior work experience it is preferred but it's not mandatory program advisor is rick hefner and like i mentioned earlier this cybersecurity bootcamp is in collaboration with caltech and simply learn and for those of you who have watched my channel for a while simply learn is a great resource for anyone who is new to cybersecurity and their bootcamps typically focus on a learning model with a lot of hands-on immersive learning which i personally think is a great way to learn especially as a beginner and now in terms of the program outcomes and your actual return on investment which of course is one of the most important things here. Based on their cybersecurity reviews, they have over 400 hiring partners with a 66% average salary increase and more than 280,000 learners enrolled worldwide. Their top companies hiring in cybersecurity are Deloitte, Accenture, Goldman Sachs, Cisco, Capgemini, and Dell. They also have a list of alumni stories that I would definitely recommend you checking out, especially if you see a role that is relevant to you that you may potentially be interested in going into. For example, a security analyst architect. I think when it comes to enrolling in the bootcamp program that you're considering joining, you should definitely look for real reviews from learners in the past who have experience going through a program and are able to provide their unbiased opinion on their experience in their program and specifically on their hiring prospects, how long it took for them to get a job, their salaries after graduating from their program. So this is definitely a great resource to look into if you're someone who is interested in that kind of information when you're trying to make your decision. So if you're someone who is currently looking to get into a cybersecurity bootcamp, I would recommend checking out the Caltech cybersecurity bootcamp, especially for those of you who are complete beginners. This is a great program to go into with an awesome school that has a great reputation in the tech space and this would be an awesome resume booster for when you start applying to jobs and start interviewing for your first entry-level cybersecurity roles. This is definitely going to be a bootcamp program that stands out on your resume compared to other candidates who may also be looking for the same entry-level roles. So if you're interested in learning more about the Caltech cybersecurity bootcamp, the next cohort is starting soon. You can check them out in my link in my description to learn more about this program and start your career in cybersecurity without any prior work experience or degree. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful to you in getting an inside look into the Caltech cybersecurity bootcamp. Let me know if there's any questions that you may have and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can in the comments below and if you do decide to enroll in the program please let me know in the comments below about your experience I would love to hear your thoughts and how it's impacted your career and if you guys are interested we also have a discord channel if you guys want to check that out where we discuss all things cybersecurity careers certifications CTFs and various other things related to cybersecurity and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and turn on post notifications I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video Bye.